All right, guys, welcome back. It's Sam Millsap, and I'm gonna show you guys how this one mindset trick took me from homeless to a millionaire at 21. I bought almost a million dollars in supercars by this age, and I've also retired my parents, bought them several cars. I live in a $3 million condo. I am moving to a house in a couple days, but I'm gonna show you how this one mindset trick changed my life and probably saved my life. And you guys are thinking, right, like, oh, there's nothing trick. Trust me, this mindset, will save your life, okay? These two mindsets we're talking about. Now, the current mindset state we are in and that you're probably in is a results-based. All you base yourself off of is results, and that's okay, because you were raised to think that way, right? In the gym, right, if you go and you work out and you eat right for a consistent period of time, you're gonna see results. It's just how things work. And with life, if any of you have a father like I did, he's gonna be tough on you, and if you're not getting results, then you must be doing something wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that does not apply to business, not at the start, okay? When you start a business, the only resource you have is you. So you're gonna be putting in your money, your time, your effort, everything you've got to not get anything out at first, okay? With fitness coaching, I put hours, I mean countless hours into making content to grow my audience without seeing money in return. Hours. I mean, I, guys, I can't tell you the thousands of hours I've spent on creating content. I've spent on building my physique into a physique that was even marketable, into learning the skills it takes to even be a fitness coach, okay? Before I made any money off of it, okay? What does that tell you? If you are a results-based person, then you're not going to stick with it. But it's made me a millionaire. Now I teach people how to build their online coaching businesses, their online personal brands, okay? And... It's making me a lot of money and I'm good at it. I've created a lot of young men that also know how to do this and make $50,000 plus per month, okay? But the one mindset trick, and I'm gonna show you guys that I changed and saved my life was becoming a process-based person. Now I'm gonna grade these on five things, okay? Sticking with it, okay? Can you stick with it with these two mindsets? Mentality, how's your mentality? Skills, do your skills improve? Success, what is the success rate with these two? And then can't lose, okay? Process-based, we're going to get this. A process-based person gets up in the morning, you do exactly what you're supposed to do, and by the time you go to bed at night, whether you won or lost, you made $1,000 or lost $1,000, you are content because you stuck to your process, okay? Results-based, no matter how much work you put in, blah, 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 you're still pissed off because you didn't get the result, okay? Now, I think a little bit of results is good, right? holding yourself accountable, putting in more work when you haven't seen the results. But here's the thing, here's the kicker. When you just start your business, you're going to put in money, you're gonna invest in whatever you need for it. I don't know what business you're starting. Um, the equipment, the people, the knowledge, you're gonna invest. You're gonna invest your time. It takes countless hours of time, all that kind of stuff. Your energy, your focus, you're probably gonna sacrifice hanging out with friends, all these things. You're not gonna make any money first, okay? A process-based mind, is like building a car, okay? When you build a car from scratch, and I mean from scratch, it's probably gonna take you six months to a year before the thing's fully built and you can even drive it, but because you know that by the time it's fully built, it's gonna drive, that's what keeps you going, okay? What do I mean by this? So if I work for five days, put everything I've got, and the car's still not built, it's not gonna drive. No matter how much work I put in it, it's not gonna drive. Same with your business, okay? Now, it's my mentality that keeps me going. Because with results space, I'm going to stick with it for a couple days, okay? Stick with it, no results, next thing. Boom, gone. One of the top three things that the most successful people in the world have, impulse control. They don't switch around, okay? Having a process-based mind saves that, okay? You understand that the car's not gonna run until it's fully built, so you keep putting your time for the parts, your money for the parts, your time, putting it together, your effort when shit breaks, your focus because it's tough, you're sacrificing time with friends, family, blah, 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 all because you know in the end the car's gonna drive, okay? End result is very important, but that's what I'm talking about this for a different video. So sticking with it, I'm gonna give this one a check. This one X, I've seen a lot of people and I've had the opportunity to train hundreds, almost thousands of young men helping their online, online businesses. And some of them come to me with no social media, not that great of a physique, and what I have to tell them right off the bat is, hey man, listen, I would love to get you to 10K per month in three months, okay? I would love to, but you, have not, you don't have a good physique. You need your physique to develop. You have no social media. 
It's going to take you six to 12 months to build a good personal brand. I'm just letting you know right off the bat, okay? One of the things that uh, Alex Ramosi said was, no matter, no matter how many times you fuck your wife, it still takes nine months for the baby to come, okay? So sticking with it, process-based mindset wins every single time, okay? Stick to the process. So when I tell my guys, I give them a process. They're supposed to post this many times. This is their format, blah, blah, blah. These are the things they're supposed to do every single day. And we know the result's gonna come in the end, okay? But if they're sitting there, right, and they jump my program and they post for a week, they're, they're not gonna make it. And even a month, they're not gonna make it. They're not gonna make it. Unless they have some insane physique or something about them that makes them go out, they're not gonna make it. You're not. You're just not. No matter how many times you post per day, you're not. It takes time, okay? Mentality. And once again, gotta give it to this. Because if you're grading yourself on results, then you're still a loser. But if you grade yourself on your process, guess what? Your mentality is gonna be way better, okay? Because you went to bed knowing, I posted this many times, I talked to this many people, I did this, I did this, I did this, good job. Great day, we're gonna do tomorrow, we're gonna do better, okay? Third thing, your skills, okay? X, once again, why? Because if you're not sticking with it, then your skills are not gonna get better, okay? One of the things that I've learned is, as I coached, and as I started to coach, the longer I did it, the better I got, okay? So the longer you stick with something, the better you're gonna get at it, meaning the process base wins again, okay? There is, n there, and through all five you're gonna see, there is no way this wins, okay? Success rate, your success rate is way up. The amount of people, I'm gonna tell you right now, that come to my program, and if the one thing I could give them, it wouldn't that they would be the fastest, the strongest, the smartest, or even the best looking. It would be that they have the ability to stick with it. Most young men don't have the ability, or young women, have the ability to stick with something. They just don't. They've never been taught to stick with something. They've been taught their entire life, oh, do this, do this, do this. That's why these phones are so destructive because it's like, oh, you're not happy? Switch to this app. Scroll past, blah, blah, blah. Just next thing, next thing. Our entire brain is programmed to just, oh, not happy, not seeing the results, move on. Guys, I want you guys to understand something. There is a reason that such a tiny percentage of people are actually successful, okay? They can't stick with shit. They can, they cannot, okay, right? You, you ever heard the saying, you don't have to be fast to run away from a bear, you just have to be faster than one person? Dude, you, if you want things that people don't have, then you're gonna have to do things they don't. If you want to become something that they are not, then you're going to have to do things that they don't. It's so simple. Nobody sticks with shit, okay? Can't lose. You cannot lose, okay? Why? Because no matter you had a good day yesterday or a bad day yesterday, you still stick to your process. You still what it do what it requires to see success, okay? I want you guys to understand this. It's so, so simple. So how do you switch your mindset, right? We've already seen that process is way better. Results, we're just going to X that out. How do you switch your mindset? One of the things that I did that helped me was giving myself a designated set of tasks that I knew would get me closer to my goals. One step closer, right? You don't have to see all the way down the path, just the next step. <coughs> and I would do those every day. And I would make sure my day's full. Not that I have, I did not want to have all this free time because, right, if you have all this free time, then when you don't make it, you're going to be thinking about all the times you were lazy. You don't want that. Right? Always, always, always volume over skill. Meaning, okay, if I'm posting one time per month and I'm not getting enough clients, I probably should be posting 60 times per month, two times per day, okay? Max amount of times I would post per day would be like three on a platform. So 90 times per month and I'm still not getting it. That's when I get better, okay? But do the volume first, okay? So fill out your day with things. Then as you fill out your day, you'll be able to say like, you know, this really is, doesn't have an ROI. There's no reason for me to do this. I'm gonna switch it out with this or I'm gonna do this better. Or, I'm gonna do this better, right? Do your best today, get better tomorrow. That's it, that's all I want. I didn't say go make a million dollars. I didn't say go get rich. I didn't say get a million views. Do your best today. Make your best content today. Do better tomorrow. Run your data, all the things I've talked about and taught. Do that, okay? And I promise you, if you stick to this process-based mindset for a long enough period of time, you will make it, absolutely will. This is the mindset that changed my life. This is the mindset that retired my parents. This is the mindset that's going to turn me into a billionaire because I'm going to follow my process until I get there, okay? Stick with the process, okay? You have a bad day, so what? Got your process. Have a good day, 
You're not going to get prideful and lazy because you have your process. Okay. I've also found that becoming a process based person keeps you humble because no matter how good or bad yesterday went, you do the same thing and you judge yourself based on today. Meaning whether I was a hero tomorrow or a hero yesterday or the bad guy, I did good or bad. I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to prove it to myself. Okay. And you're not focused on what you're going to do tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to, what am I doing today? Focus on today. And then when tomorrow comes, then focus on tomorrow. Stick to your process. Fuck this results bitch face mindset. Okay.